party and welcome to the captain's vlog. met a man lived down by the coast believed every story that that old man told with his arms wildly waving well we took another toll the old man by the sea still has hope yeah well here we are in the captain's bar again in Edinburgh for another uh, chapter, another edition of the Captain's Vlog. And we've got to raise the mainsail, pull up the anchor, because we're heading for California today. Oh. We've got John and I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having well, me, Colin. Uh, it's nice to be yes. here. Yes. One of the mainstays of the Captain's Bar. Brings a great deal of variety in music to captains. Can you tell us a bit about your background, John? We're um, musically here. speaking, um, uh, it's interesting to be uh, part of the folk scene here in uh, in uh, Scotland and Edinburgh, especially in Captain's Bar. Um, I definitely come from playing acoustic guitar a long time, for a mm. long time. I started playing when I was about seven or eight, um, took it on more seriously in my early teens. But, um, you know, I'm a product of America in the 80s, so it was Shredder Fest for me when it oh, came wow. to guitar. I listened to a lot of of kind of the the metal or the uh, mm. progressive rock music and uh, I came up with rock and roll my, my mom my stepmother was uh, was big into rock Led Zeppelin Black Sabbath wow. the Beatles Pink Floyd stuff like that and as all of my friends got really good at all that arpeggio sweeping and they could grow hair Yo. and they looked fine in spandex things that didn't work <laughs> for me um, I fell in love with things like uh, the arpeggio and just um, you know picking and strumming mm, yeah. and uh, and singing at the same time. Mm. I've been writing songs since I pretty much started playing guitar. It's just the idea of just finding a nice little groove and then yeah. just humming something that came out of me subconsciously um, has always been um, this really wonderful escape. Mm. You know, I didn't really. I grew up like I uh, grew up in Hawaii on a kind of a hippy dippy environment you know my dad yeah. we had a teepee Whoa. no running water no electricity so Back to nature. entertainment was mm. um yeah i mean you got a radio station if you were willing to make the two mile hike up the mountain and <laughs> held the <laughs> antenna in a certain place yeah. i could catch that yeah. that one rock station it's for you know fuzzy but i'm in um, you make your own music yeah so i just started writing music and i think that was kind of like um it was a great place to let my imagination grow. Mm. And at the same time, um, it was personal. It was yeah. my own thing. I, I didn't really ever look at guitar playing as a profession as a kid. Mm. I always just looked at it as sort of this soul saving thing oh, for yeah. being food. a child of a divorce and um, living in a weird place, being a Howley, they called us. I was an outsider. I've always been yeah. the oddball out. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm an immigrant here. Um, I'm too, too white to be brown. I'm too brown to be white. You know, yeah, my, in between it. Yeah, as my grandma always said, you know, you're the goddamn League of Nations is what you are. <laughs> and uh, I think that sort of identity crisis that you grow up in these different yeah. environments, you find things as a kid and uh, as a young adult to yeah. sort of keep you sane, give you your own thing. And uh, that, that's, that's what it was, writing and playing. The day when we first met, he was begging quarters, the drink all but spent. So I, I picked up a six pack of ice cold PBR. We talked into the night under the stars. Then by the sea under the stars. He told me of a life living on the deep blue sea. Hard work, lessons learned, a fantastic journey. And even when the bank came and he lost his family, the old man by the sea said, Boy, you can never give up. That old man. 
man by the sea said, son, never give up. I find that really, his songs all seem to have stories to them. You're I very, try, I try. Yeah. I think that's a new, a new, um, a new thing, and that's definitely inspired by being a part of, of Edinburgh, um, coming here since 2010. And, you know, meeting Martin Boland over at the Royal Oak. Martin, I got yeah, drug over there by Harry yeah. Sunderland many years ago, standing outside one of the theaters here during the Fringe Festival. And this old guy came up to me and said, you know, hey, uh, you ever been to the Royal Oak? Um, no. Yeah. I was like, well, come along. Drug me down there. And I kind of liked the, just the ability to play guitar in an environment that's all acoustic yeah. and see it be as diverse as it is, not just about traditional music or, you know, uh, bluegrass or an Americana sort of honest well, interpretations yeah. of, of, uh, of traditional music. There was a lot of songwriting and a lot yeah. of, um, and I felt like, you know, as a songwriter in the last 10 years, I thought it was important to bring some sort of story or some sort of moral fiber to the song, not just sing about chicks and cars, you know. I took his hand and said, I'll see you again some sunny day. flies by as we all know it does been working for peanuts I finally had enough was an older man now with no place to go I question the power of that old man's hope and I, I prayed to God that man was not a ghost Do you play anywhere else in Edinburgh? I yeah, I mean, I have. I, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough to host a, a folk, an open folk session here, which we call Annihilation, <laughs> uh, every Monday afternoon, and I've been doing that for a little over two years. Two years um, right. Although Pam has always been amazing and let me play during the festival. Quite often, I was the Friday and Saturday night entertainment during the festival. Yeah. I have a little trio or do something. I also play at the Royal Oak, which is another folk bar here in town. Um, I'm there every Thursday night. I play down on Rose Street every weekend. Yeah. Um, I either do a solo or I do my duo with Pockets, um, one of my wonderful musical collaborators here. Uh, I play Stramash once a month with the big band. Yeah. You know, six of us going oh, crazy. I like uh, it. Oh, it's, a, it's acoustic but plugged acoustic. in. Yeah. Plugged in, yeah. I just recently actually did a, a doghouse electric gig and oh, pulled out my guys, Telecaster yeah. and, and had it at you with my distortion <laughs> pedal. I was like, oh, man, I miss this. This is fun. This was fun. I arrived in that fishing village early in the night I saw a light at the end of the pier Heard voices that took flight The old man by the sea has always inspired more than song I listened to the words and sang along I listened to the words father was long gone and then the rain came down and pulled a separate way I looked up to the stars and said see you again some sunny day I will see you again some sunny day I will see you again some sunny day. And I 
believe you've got a new album coming out soon. I do, yeah. I've been working really hard on a new album, which is deeply inspired by my time living here and being uh, engrossed in this uh, singer-songwriter, folk, Americana, acoustic approach to music. Um, it's uh, It's been really inspiring, and I wanted to make an album that showcased that kind of feeling. And it's a right. uh, it's very different album for me. It doesn't really have a lot of political connotations. It's more about, you know, the things that are on my mind and the things that I think we all think about, stories, yeah. you know, uh, the good stuff in life that we hope for. And yeah, I got it to be out November 27th wow. officially. It'd be available exclusively at johnandiamusic.com for my subscribers on Bandcamp. And, Sounds um, like a good Christmas present. Yeah, yeah. Good thinking, Colin. Good one of thinking. Those, yeah, yeah. Put it on your Christmas list. Yeah. And how, how many albums? How many um, CDs have you had so far? Haven't? Well, I've been making CDs on my own little record label and with my own recording studio since uh, the late '90s, basically. Wow. Um, so I this this is kind of my fourth full length record that mm -hmm. I've done since 2002 yeah. um, and right. I've done a Karen lot of Tracks singles and, and I've yeah. written a lot of songs I've written music for theater pieces as you know I, wow. I, I toured with a magician for a long time and um, we wrote music for an entire piece that's uh, you know and then the kids show so there's always been yeah. always been writing um, and uh, putting out music and now with the internet there's you know i've got singles and videos and stuff but um, bad, yeah. i consider uh this to be kind of like one of the series of the new actual albums yeah. has it got a title album <clears throat> or is it gonna the new album is called change will come and it's a hopeful <laughs> from the bottom of a gun <laughs> <laughs> it's a change hopeful, hopeful title <laughs> yeah, yeah and it's also uh, very affirmative yes it will come yeah. you know i think uh, we've seen some change america could do with it yeah i think the whole world you yeah, know there's a course. lot there's a lot of change that's been uh, to the negative you know it's like you sometimes when you see the world change and you see it change for the worse you I think if a lot of enough of us put enough energy into the idea that there is balance out yeah. there, if we just think about the idea that um, we can, uh, you know, somehow fabricate change that's also yeah. positive, um, and uh, you know, that's kind of the underlying tone of this uh, this this um, this Project, album. album you know, yeah. yeah. Oh, forward to that one. Yeah, yeah, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. It's got a little bit of Celtic influence. Uh, right. It still sounds like me. It's an Americana kind of, you yeah. know, bluesy, oh, yeah. you know, acoustic yeah, you album. Yeah, your own distinct sound. That's very mm -hmm. much what attracted me when I heard you singing first time. Oh, oh thanks, man. You just picked up that stuff, right? Yeah, oh, he's loud. <laughs> <laughs> I can I, hear that guy over everybody blabbing. How did he do that? Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, that's good. Unless you want to add something to it, you want to... No, I think that was good. I, I think uh, it's important to make sure that, um, you know, uh, we as musicians understand uh, and support uh, these pubs, especially like Captain's oh, yeah. with Live Pam music. Just... and what she does. Uh, you know, she works really hard to um, to make sure that there's some sort of programming in here daily. Yeah. And it's all over the map. We've got the traditional fiddle stuff. We've got me. We've got... Uh, other original singer songwriters yeah. and lots of uh, guest musicians who come in and out yeah. and, and look at this in Edinburgh as a hub for. I hope, um, I hope this vlog's going to help that as well. I've yeah. already had when we did Kevin Gore's first one, we've had people from Spain saying, you know, where can I get the album? Yeah, where yeah. Can I get the CD? If I'm coming to Edinburgh. This is where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what we want to. Yep, exactly. See come from. The word of so. mouth. And, uh, you know, I for one. Um, Definitely want to say thank you to Pam for letting me be a part oh, of this wow, wonderful yeah, community. Yeah. I've always it's it's been a blessing, a really wonderful blessing. Yeah. yeah, I remember I remember when she took over. I used to drink here before then. It was a real old man's pub. Oh with yeah, cheap nips. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> music. Yeah. <laughs> music. No way. Oh, oh, oh. I think we get that crew comes in every once in a while, the actual captains, yeah. you know, they come in like once a year. It seems like they always come in on my night because it's a Monday night <laughs> yeah. and they're just like, this is our bar. What are you doing yeah. singing in this bar? Yeah. But, uh, lovely people. Lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Colin, very much. Yeah. Cheers. You 
wake up and the sun shines on you But you recall the dark from last night You can hear the echo of laughter Lonely footsteps clinging to life And you will raise to feel a little different Everyone said, hey, it'll be all right And if I stare into this mirror any longer I know I will lose this fight But I want you to know That I really love you More than you'll ever know And if a promise that's made Can truly be kept be there in sunshine and snow. Raise your arms just as high as you can. Leave the ground, reach for a star. Life is like a merry-go-round. It feels easy until it gets hard. Never let go.